What's going on guys, Rob with 3 Strong here. Today I want to talk about how to manipulate the uh, training frequency, so the number of times you do something within a week. How to change that up to get a certain result, to bring up those weak points, and then to really just kind of ma maintain and, and, um, and still work on your strengths, but giving even more work to those weak points to bring them up to par. Because if we look at the body as a whole, we look at anyone, regardless of who you are, everyone is going to say, I like this about myself, I don't like this. You know, my, my legs are a little weak and maybe a little small and I want them a little bit bigger or stronger. And then my, and then my upper body is this, maybe my arms need to be a little bit smaller. There's, there's always something that needs a little bit more work than every other part. However, when we go into a training program, a lot of times people think of it as this rule of thumb, it has to be, I need to train it twice a week, twice a week, twice a week, or once a week, or whatever, that, that they look at it as everything is exactly the same. But if something is behind, you need to give it more work. It needs more help. You have to force it to grow. And uh, just as an example for me, you know, I... I want my legs to get stronger. I, 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 I want my legs to increase in muscle mass. Um, and they're just not keeping up with my upper body. My, my upper body grows a lot faster than my legs. And so I absolutely need to uh, punish my legs to get them to do anything, to get them to grow. And so I can't just do the same number of squats that I do for bench press and expect anything to happen. So then I need to hit, let's just say my squats, you know, I'm actually doing, and, and granted this is, this is two heavy days and then the rest is just very light, just some work in, I'm doing it five days a week. Just, hey, if it's important, do it every day. And then say with something like chest, I'll only do it twice a week. And then maybe something like back, you know, I, I really want to develop my back a little bit more that, that maybe I have back on, you know, these other days. Maybe I do it three, three times a week. The point is that, you know, I can make a list of whatever. And, 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 and granted, you know, you don't have to go for five days a week. That's just what I do. Um, and you can also cluster these into one workout. But if there's something that you know, I need to work on this, I need to get this better, and there's nothing wrong with doing it every day, I'm only going to get that much stronger. If your upper body is a weak point, practice some sort of upper body move, do some sort of upper body move every day. You don't have to kill it, some days are going to be heavier than others, but get the work in and force your muscles to grow. And so you really create this hierarchy. Some need more work, some don't need as much. So when you go into your workouts and think about your training, look at your week and see, is it biased towards, towards something that doesn't need that much help and, and is it completely lacking in something that needs a lot of help? Are you going to be that uh, you know, chicken leg, um, upper body heavy guy? Hopefully not, man. I don't want to be that guy. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow.